How's it going team? It's Dustin hunting. Finally out. Finally out for a hunt in the raw. Had a couple of little pre-raw sort of things you could say. They weren't really raw and it's still early April, right at the beginning of April on the seeker. Um, the seeker weren't really roaring then. Um, a couple of weeks later, finally gone out. Sort of I had an angle injury from rugby, it's just done slowly come right. Got enough to hunt at least. And finally got out of, got away from work, so I'm gonna try chase some, uh, some seeker. Just stay here overnight, go for a morning hunt, head back in for rugby tomorrow, and then, uh, then uh, have another crack after that. Yeah, sweet, we'll just cruise down to a spot that I've got a camera set up. Well, I've caught a few um few good stacks on there, so Dad's been here um, for the last couple of days and he heard one single call single calling in the morning down in the area where I'm heading, so no, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Be good to just uh, get a little bit of action of something. And it will be very good to get something on the deck eventually. That's my goal, I want to get two stags on the deck this raw. See how it turns out. But nah, sweet. I've got my trusty 308 with me for this one. It's um, bush, but there's a bit of scrub country. A few open clearings. So, um, if I have to push a longer shot, then I can. But i um, hoping for a bit of action. Uh, nice, nice close, close count encounters. Uh, nah, all good. Right, beauty. Shut up now and start sneaking. Just spooked a red. Looked like a spiker. Real weird, skinny, scary spiker. Just, um, just spooked it on the other side of this open scrub here. Show. Just in through there, didn't see it. Here comes the helicopter, but anyway, just took off back into the bush. Don't really want to shoot a scrubby or shitty red spike or something like that. Good morning team, it's um, quarter past six and nearly enough light to see, I'll probably see, I'll be able to shoot deer for 20 metres in front of me but I'll wait it out for about five or so minutes, um, the rain's starting to come in now, it's just, just drizzling really, um, hopefully it stays drizzling or it stops just means that I only have the GoPro to the start of the morning um, so I don't get the camera wet but um, yeah yep no that's sweet hopefully we can get something on the deck this morning it'd be really really awesome no, all good all right. it's starting to line up pretty quick now actually so get me stuff ready and, and um, start moving no, good as gold Red, about 100 meters or oh, 80 meters up here. I see him, but hope he didn't see me. Couldn't see what he was. I think he sidled around. Might have just heard him.
บอบ Bye. Well, that was entertaining. Uh, had that young, silly young red come in. Bloody awesome. My first proper raw encounter um, this year. So, I'm stoked with that. Just a little six I think. So. I'm not going to shoot him unless he's like a big 10 or a 12 or something like that. So I'm after an 8 point seeker, a seeker at the moment. Preferably an 8 pointer. So we're going to get up behind me, get up into these pines, and um, then it drops back into some native. And we'll um, yeah, see if there's any seeker lurking around up in here. Yeah, see. So. Right, we'll boot up here and we'll, we'll sneak up here and see what we can see. Sweet. Hopefully there's a bit of noise. Alright, in the next spot now. They got a roll, sit here for a bit. for 10 minutes, let out another roar, then another 15 or so minutes, see what's happening, yep. yeah. and we'll come through here, or we'll through here, fingers crossed something walks out here and we can buddy shoot it, sweet, yep so just been sitting here for about half an hour, um, 8 o'clock now no noises, pretty quiet all pretty quiet other than that red, that was the only bit of action we've had we've had nothing else other than that but um, carry on get up the top of this ridge do a big loop round drop back down and, and come back down to the ute so not over yet, not over yet but me uh, two good spots have failed so hopefully, uh, hopefully the next ones can um, at least provide a couple animals. Good, good, good to see a seeker stag. Yep, beauty. Alrighty, well, keep on moving, and I'll let you let you guys know if anything uh, anything jumps out, or any bit action happens. But no, sweet. 
righty ho. Just uh, gunned it to get into this nice track in this native. The wind's swirling a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Start being quiet soon. Start stalking in about 50 odd metres probably. But yeah, we'll just cruise, stalk our way up this track, drop down to the bottom and then drop off to the to the side and um, see if we can get off this stag. I don't actually know how big he is or anything, but uh, I know there's one in there, but no, all good. See how it goes. See.
Got him. <laughs> Bloody beauty. Holy smokes, it's a shit head. Got him. Far out. Whew. Oh, that's got to be my biggest relief ever. Oh my god. He just roared and roared and roared. He just come out. I was waiting for him to come out into the open, but a hind come out and he followed the hind. Just took the shot, dropped them. Something wrong with his antlers. Something really wrong with his, ant with his antlers, actually. But anyway, we'll go over and see. Whew, far out. I've come a long way down. I'm pretty much right at the bottom of the shit gut. It's going to be an absolute climb out. Holy Jesus. Oh my God, I'm so relieved. Now we've got to try and get down and across and come back to him. Anyway, better make a move. I've got rugby in a few hours. Jesus. Right, I've just... I've seen him. He's down. He's just across here. But man, this is steep. I don't know what it would look like through the camera, but that is quite a drop off. Oh, yep. That's one way to get down. Just fucking down the slide. This is when you got to be real careful because you're so amped and pumped that you just want to go and see what you've got, but. When it's shit like this, you just have to take your time. This is when an injury will happen. Oh, hopefully he's decent stag. Looked all right. One side looked a bit stuffed up. We'll see. He was roaring really well. Fucking onga onga and shit. Holy Jesus, it's steep. Right, I'm going to turn the camera off for this. Whew. Right, we're to him. We're here. We made it. Oh well, he snapped, but that's all right. Nice four on one side. But he's bloody... That's not actually snapped. That's a, that's a degrowth. So, I'm guessing that could be... That could be uh, that one that I had that I was trying to get all bloody summer when he was in his velvet and I was chasing him for ages and I couldn't get him. This could be him. What a beautiful, beautiful animal. Man, oh man, look at that. That's a cool animal. There he is. What a stunning, stunning stag. Oh. Shot him from, he was just up here when I shot him, and I was, where was I, up in here. Come from way the hell up there. Oh. Man, I'm happy. I'll set the camera up, eh? Here he is. Well, what a stunning, stunning animal. Beautiful animal. What an amazing coat. So much, so much respect for these things. As good as, as good as it is shooting this, I've been chasing them for the last however many, probably last couple of months, and I just haven't had any luck. And now, I've, um, I've managed to get him and I'm just so stoked and he's quite an old animal um, they're quite buried really those coronets and he's got real thick nice thick strong points strong timber nice big four on one side which I'm bloody stoked about that. Then this side he's um 
chipped in the front and the brow, real big brow, chipped in the brow, and then he's sort of just deformed defect up here. Um, these haven't actually snapped, they just haven't grown. And I've seen a stag for all of December, all of January, and February, trying to chase him down. Never got him, and this looks like him. So if this is him, then this truly be amazing because this is a long, quite a long way from where he's come. This will be, it'll be absolutely incredible. But either way, I'm stoked no matter what. So, so happy about that. So I think the plan, cut him up. Think about skinning him, he's got an awesome coat, but he's just got a massive hole from that shot. We'll figure it out. No, sweet. So what had actually happened, he, um, he, there's two of them roaring quite close to each other. So I snuck down, snuck down, and then it started, to, it was real loud. So I was like, should I got to let out a roar probably? I'm too loud. Let out a roar. Yep, started roaring back. Yep, yep, no, sweet. Still quite a, I'm only halfway down the space of that, um, and then, and then it shut up, and I heard a couple bleeps from the old hind, um, meaning that it spooked, or it knew something's up. Um, so I thought I was a bit buggered. Went on the other side of the ridge, and. Um, just, a, just tried to go down there. There's heaps of signs, so I thought, oh, I'll just keep trying, but on the other side of the ridge. Got down a bit further, a bit further, and then he started up again. So I thought, oh, this is interesting. Check the wind, the wind had changed again. So the wind was perfect. Kept roaring, he'd roar back, I'd roar, he'd roar back. Drop down, drop down, keep going down lower. Got to a real nice spot. It was almost perfect, and I could just see a good patch of area where he would be, or where he's roaring from. Saw movement, um, so I waited, waited, let out a mew, and then the hind walked out, and then right behind him, right behind her, was this boy. So, um, just put it right on his top of his shoulder there. Um, I was shooting down on him, sort of. So it was a bit of a, between the base of the neck and the top of the shoulder coming down and hitting through all the vitals there. I um, mean, it was perfect, dropped him, and it's made a massive hole. But yeah, man, oh, I'm so, so stoked. My first seeker stag in the raw. What a morning. I'll probably remember this morning for the rest of my life, I'd say. Look at that. Cannot complain with that boy. Man, oh man. Beautiful animal. All right. Oh, I cut him up now. He's actually in decent nick. He's got a bit of a bit of a layer of fat on him. Um, not too bad. Look at that. Nice big back stake there. Beautiful. Bugger off, lies. That's not yours. Oh man, oh man. So stoked about that. Now my goal is to get one more. I've shot one stag, now I need to get one more, that's my goal. Oh man, this is a mission. Bloody hell. A couple of buggered fingers, so... She's struggling to uh, grip onto things, but... Anyway, here's a start. We're chucking the back legs. I'm just getting the good bits of the back legs. Buffing them in there, in my jersey. And wrapping them up in my jersey. I got the back stakes in the pockets of the jersey. And we just, uh, I'm not going to skin him. Beautiful animal. I'm just going to chop his head off and then, um, because I already have enough weight with all the meat and she's a bit of a climb. So, yep, anyway, all good, all good. Righty ho. Right, we're just carrying this thing up the hill. The old man's come down to give me a hand and carry it up. Whew. Gone past all the real steep stuff now. It's 
just got to follow the ridge up and she's good as gold. Oh, successful mission. Beautiful. Oh, perfect timing. Our rain set in. Bloody perfect. Right team, made it back to the ute. Whew. It's uh, lunchtime, so there's a good little uh, stint there. It was there about six hours. It took, yeah, it took about six hours to uh, to uh, shoot a deer and then carry it out. Nah, all good. Right, cheers for watching the video. And uh, hopefully there's some more action for me and uh, some more cool videos for you guys to watch in the next couple of weeks. Nah, awesome. Catch you fellas later.